What's going on guys? This is Waylon Martin with BuyBuilding.News. Today, following the Arnold Europe held in Barcelona, Spain, we're discussing the new men's and women's fit model division. And I'm always getting pussy, but I'm still gonna beat my meat. I 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 beat my meat. Many scoffed at the idea of men's physique introducing board shorts and covering the physiques in a physique competition. The new men's and women's fit model division takes it a step further, reintroducing the one-piece suit into women's divisions, as well as full clothing into the men's division. In this new fit model category, the men wear tank tops and board shorts, and the women wear one-piece suits as well as nightgowns. Yes full-scale nightgowns that you would wear to a formal event. With the success of the bikini and physique divisions, clearly this is an attempt to set the standards for being an athlete even lower. We covered this earlier in the year and there was some confusion, so it's important to remember that the IFB International and the MPC are different organizations. That's why this hasn't been adopted yet in the US, nor has it been adopted by the MPC's IPB Pro League, which the International Federation leads into as well. This wouldn't be the first time that divisions have been practiced internationally and then adopted by the United States, eventually the pro organizations as well. Before classic physique was being practiced in the United States, it was classic bodybuilding internationally. Based off of the popularity it's already seen overseas, it's a real possibility that it'll be brought over here. And while many may laugh at the idea now, if promoters see the type of money that could potentially be generated from something like this, it might become a staple in the contest circuit. So very soon we might be seeing fully closed professional physique athletes. So while bodybuilding has always had elements of pageantry, this takes the shift from sport into full blown pageant even further. And though some of these athletes do have good physiques, it's clearly a watered down version of already watered down categories, as most seek the easier route. Is this good for the sport? Promoters will likely tell you so. However, we've seen that men's physique hasn't really introduced too many people into open bodybuilding, and classic physique is already drawing people away from open bodybuilding. But this has not been brought to the United States yet, and it might just remain a European thing. They do weird things over there like turn 14-year-olds into IPV bikini pros. So, for now, this is just a big what if. But if it does happen, don't say you weren't warned. Guys, what do you think of the new division? Be sure to tell us in the comments section. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe on YouTube. My name is Waylon Martin with BuyBuilding.News. Out.